can you van life with a curfew? What's going on guys? It's Dave. This is GVA, Ghetto Van Adventures. And uh, I want to talk to you guys about uh, this curfew that Quebec put into place in Canada. Now Canada has provinces, like the U.S. has states, and Quebec is one of the provinces. Now they implement a curfew to fight off, you know, what's going on right now, the vid. And it runs from 8 p.m. Uh, to 5 a.m. And people who violate this curfew could get a 1000 to 6 thousand dollar fine so you know with playing a trip i was going to be away you know one two three weeks whatever i just want to do a little run stop the stir craziness <laughs> so you know i um i uh i talked to a couple police officers i know here in ontario and uh their biggest thing was because apparently it's coming to ontario this lockdown curfew thing is coming to Ontario so I said if I'm in my van parked in say a Walmart okay and they roll up on me and want to check my ID and that do I get a ticket because I'm breaking curfew and I said I'm not outside my van and I said my van is my house sort of thing and he goes well all of them kind of went back to the same thing they said where is your home address? Like, do you have an address on your license? And I said, well, yeah. I said, you have to. I said, you can't just have a license that has no fixed address, right? And he goes, so you're away from your residence. So he said, in theory, he said, yes. And all of them came to this thing where if you, if you get in trouble with the police, he said, most likely, he said, the officer is going to say, okay, I'm going to give you a ticket. And you have to show up, and it's for a judge to decide. Okay? So, that kind of freaked me out a little bit. So, I thought, you know what? I'm going to check this out. So, I drove to Quebec. I jumped in the car, and I said, I'm going to rip on over to Quebec. And I said, I'm going to stop in a few police stations and ask them. And I did, and it was the same thing. And one officer, he was a little... Mm -hmm. He said straight out, he said, if I caught you... I got to show him a picture of the van, the whole works. He said, if I caught you in a Walmart parking lot or, you know, somewhere else. And he said, you weren't at your address. And he said, like, if you were in Quebec and he said, you weren't at your address. He said, I give you a big ticket. And he said, he said, you could fight out in court, but he said, you probably lose. And I'm going, holy mackerel. Can you imagine getting a $6,000 ticket? So now I'm going, <laughs> do I, so do I take the risk? You know, like, if, if I, I can't go into Quebec, but say I went, like, northern Ontario, I went up and I was looking at a few things, blah, 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 just out in the road or, you know, anywhere, anywhere, and they implement the curfew, like, I better scramble to get home or I could get a whopping fine. Like, is this the end of van life while, while this curfew is on? And, boy, I'm telling you, if you're in Canada or you plan on traveling to Canada or anything... Be careful of this curfew, because I'm telling you, this could really make your day turn out bad. And, you know, if you're if you're a distance away and it could take you days to get home, what do you do? Uh, I, I don't know. It, it's kind of freaky, isn't it? But uh, it sure puts the kibosh on van life. So if you're out there and you're considering traveling, watch out for this curfew, because... You get caught in your van, you could be looking at a whopping fine. And that's something nobody wants. Um, so, looks like I'm not traveling. <laughs> looks like I'm not traveling for a bit. Again, this is, this is just terrible. Um, ooh, and Akita. Sorry, I like Akita Dodge. Um, this is just terrible. Um, anyway, that's my little blurb today um i'm thoroughly disappointed because i had some spots that i thought would be pretty cool to check out and uh i can't i can't do it now so um i i, I don't know where this leaves me with van life uh right at the moment anyway 
I guess I'm just going to hunker down at home base. Anyway, guys, uh, just thought I'd give you a little update on what's going on here in Canada and the van life situation. <sighs> you guys take care. Be safe on the road. Thank you.